English-born composer-conductor John Barry is no stranger to the music scoring stage. He has been doing this for over 30 years and through dozens of feature films. This is his latest, the soundtrack music for Dances with Wolves. And gentlemen, if you could watch me from bar 15, from bar 15 towards the end, I'll just lift the tempo a fraction. Dances with Wolves is set in the changing frontier of the America of the 1860s as white settlers began to move into the lands of the native Indians. The movie's star is Kevin Costner as a Union Army officer who wants to see the last frontier before it vanishes. He becomes emotionally trapped between his world and that of a Sioux tribe living in the Dakota Territory. But Costner is more than star. He is the movie's driving force, its co-producer, and its director. And he is the man who chose John Berry to compose and conduct the score. You know, you never know when you pick a composer. You never know if it's actually going to work. It, it's, uh, you can still be the most talented guy around, but sometimes a score doesn't match up with a piece of film. And in this instance, John really has his eye on the ball. It's a, it's a throwback movie, I think, in the best sense. And, and I think it required a bigness. It's about landscape. It's about people moving across this country. And it, it needed a score that was big enough to compete with, with, uh, with uh, the beauty of, of, of the way the country was at that point. John Barry has scored some 75 feature films, including a dozen of the James Bond movies. And actually, from Goldfinger on, if you analyze all the scores, sure, the songs are different and the moods change this way and that. But in terms of style, that was a style that, that, still, that still continues. And Barry has won three Oscars for his film scores, beginning with Born Free in 1966, which also, with lyricist Don Black, won an Oscar for best song. We did two versions. We did one version with the song in, and then I did an instrumental version at the end. They put, put it in, and then on the night of the Royal Command performance, just before we were about to be presented to the Queen, Carl Foreman said his, came in and said, we've taken the song out. I said, fine, I don't mind. <laughs> you know, I really don't mind. That's fine. And then Andy Williams recorded it, you know, then Roger Williams recorded it, and all of a sudden they started creep up the American hit parade. So they had to call all the copies back in and put the song back in the movie. In 1968, Barry's score for The Lion in Winter also brought him an Oscar. And five years ago, an Oscar encore for his lush sounds that accompanied Out of Africa. I mean, a lot of movie composers come to film music via, by accident, if you like. They don't set out to be that way. They're, they were an instrumentalist and they grew into it or they were arrangers and they developed into it. I can honestly say that from about the age of 15 or 16, that's really what I wanted to do was write music for film. And Barry, who has worked with some of the biggest name directors over the years, is very complimentary about first time director Kevin Costner and his dances with wolves. There is not one frame of this uh, movie that, 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 that even sniffs of a first effort. It's just a wonderful, wonderful picture. And I think he's, as a director, he's, uh, that's probably where he's going to wind up as being probably one of the major directors. Dances with Wolves, starring and directed by Kevin Costner, with music by John Barry, opens nationwide this week. For today, Jim Brown, NBC News, Hollywood.